I've been watching a lot of classic movies recently, things like The Apartment, Irma Le Douce, that's two movies with the same cast and crew behind it I suppose, but other movies like that and I got to wondering why are these things so compelling? Especially when you look at modern day movies. You know, I look at something like The Apartment, it's not got a great flashy camera, it's not got overly elaborate characters, it has a great tale at the heart of it, it's got a wonderful script, some nice supporting characters, and it allows the movie to play out. And what is it about modern movies that just doesn't have that same kind of grasp? I will find the odd movie that I like, but the hit rate for older movies seems to be far more impressive, and especially as I age, I seem to be more appreciative and more interested in the older titles rather than the newer ones. I will of course check them out, but I don't often go back and re-watch movies. In fact, I feel that a movie, much like a fine wine, has to age. Not that I'm really that into fine wines, but <laughs> you get uh, the old adage, you know what? Going back to things, even uh, like early 90s, those big brash blockbuster movies are hell of enjoyable. The tongue is firmly in the cheek, it knows exactly what it's doing and it delivers. You look at movies nowadays and they seem to be over edited. They've got over um, used scores, they seem to rely on old tricks, the plots can be rehashed from movies we've seen before and they just don't seem to have that same spark of creativity and interest. For me, like um, older movies, there's been a reliance on CG recently as well and with technology there are standouts of movies that are wonderfully paced, that are used it expertly. Uh, I'm thinking of great CGI movies, I think of um, Jurassic Park which was a mix of practical and CG. I think of Starship Troopers which did some remarkable work and it still holds up today. But there seems to be a lack of patience, a lack of understanding and I put that onto the viewer as well because obviously these movies are tailored for people and what they want and it seems to be disposable entertainment. Not the kind of thing that you can go back to again and again and I'm thinking again because I recently watched the Apartment. It's a movie that is simple. It's not an overly elaborate story, but at the end of it, it has me uh, almost in tears, just the sheer joy at the ending of the movie. And it's not flashy. It's not in your face. It's just comfortable and right for the tale. And I'm wondering if they're getting the same kind of care put into the movies. Everything is about style and uh, flash with the camera, of quick editing, of using boring, uh, unmemorable musical scores, um, miscasting, using the same old symbols and metaphors uh, and rehashing them and thinking that they're more important than they are. This is what's putting me off modern day movies. movies. And it's not going to stop me from going to see them. It just means that, especially over the past couple of years, my focus has been on older films and I find them far more rewarding and far more rewatchable and entertaining. And it feels that they're almost stripped back when you look at sort of modern day movies. The, the heroes are... <sighs> They're flawed in certain ways, you know, they're not always the perfect hero, they're not just that one-dimensional muscle-bound character that's going to save the day, um, they have a little bit more going on. And one of the things I notice a lot about older movies is they don't have to dumb things down, they can leave things open, they're, they're trusting that the viewer is smart enough to, to get the information that uh, the script, the director, the way everything's put together is leaning towards without actually having to spell it out to you. A lot of the classic movies, um, a lot of the older movies don't have those huge information, exposition dumps in them that, that, that feel out of place, that, that take away from the story and the flow of the movie. And then with the re, uh, latest couple of decades, most of them are advertising stuff. 
the movie seems almost secondary. It's about getting a star, getting a name, getting an explosion, getting as many cinemas as you can, many screens as you can, get a product advertising it. Before a movie even comes out, certain films can already be uh, in the black. You know, they've clawed back their budget sheerly on merchandising and everything that goes with it. There's too many focus on various different things rather than focusing on what's the key element, the story and how it's told. And going back to the older movies, whether it be um, something great, again, just because I've just watched it, The Apartment, or whether it be something from the 80s that was exploitation movies that kind of had a level of creativity and love and effort put into it. These movies are vastly, vastly more enjoyable than some of the things that I'm watching these days, you know. And there seems to be um, a kind of lack of visionary directors. You know, there is always a few that, that, that squeeze through uh, the ranks, but they've been going for years now, and most of the new filmmakers don't seem to have that uh, style and substance and work within movies that you kind of roughly know what you're going to get uh, when you sit down and watch these kind of things. A lot of the things that uh, make their way into movies now are socially conscious elements, you know, political leanings which are going on just now. Um, everything's been censored. Everything's been controlled and, and tailored back to be the most inoffensive kind of movie uh, it can be because you don't want to ruffle anyone's feathers. When sometimes uh, you look back to the, even like several eras, whether it be, well, let's say punk eras, it was there to ruffle the establishment. It was there to make people uncomfortable and to make people think. Now it's the opposite. Now it's let's just keep it average and bland, not offend anybody. Let's not tackle any subjects that may uh, cause discussion and emotions to run high. Let's just make it easy on everybody. There's so many things about modern movies that are underwhelming, that leave you feeling as if you've just had a cheeseburger rather than a gourmet meal. But going back to these classic movies, checking out older cinema is far more rewarding. It's, you know, the hit rate is way better and discovering all those movies that are still to be discovered that may have been forgotten is a pure joy. And I know I, I still want to go to the cinema. I still want to experience movies there. But for me, they're never, never quite hitting that level of consistency, not quite hitting me in the right way, which is a shame. I'd love to know what you think about modern movies. Do you love them? I mean, they, they could be great for you, and that's wonderful if you get enjoyment out of them, but what is it about modern movies that you love and hate compared with older movies? Um, things that you discovered, look at various genres that faded away, like film noir and things like that. These are, are cinema that I love. And while I'm not back at the cinema as yet, I'm still kind of got one eye on the older movies rather than the newer ones because they look derivative of the films that have came before. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.